on his previous comments, these exact comments that you've just seen, this is what Thomas Tuchel had to say. I've been asked about Didi Herman and Lothar Mateus every week. I don't want to stand in the middle and keep making comments. Yesterday was the day to finally say it. I won't go into it any further. At some point, it's enough. I have enough to do in my job. Well, he did allude to this whole situation, Jan, a little earlier, and I see you smiling here. Yeah, because this is FC Hollywood. I love that. That is what it can only happen in Germany. And for, for, for the younger viewers, uh, the, the one he's quarrelling with is Lothar Matthäus, who is a German football legend, 150 games for Germany, won everything. And Thomas Tuchel, the, the thing is, I've been discussing this with a lot of my German journalist friends today. They say, yeah, but a, a coach can't say that after a 4 nil." So when is a coach supposed to say anything against us? And we're talking about us now. When are they supposed to do that? They lost in Saarbrücken. They were, they were knocked out of the cup. So to, that's on Thomas Tuchel. He has to accept that he's been criticizing for that. So he then winning 4-0, and he has annoyed him all week. He's been talking about Didi Hammond, former, uh, former Liverpool City Bayern Munich player, and Lothar Matthäus. But I think sometimes we as football experts, or so-called football experts, football pundits, take us self too too seriously that a Bayern Munich manager goes into a quarrel with you that means that you have had a good opinion Lothar Matthäus has been standing for his view and you no know, I'm a big fan of Thomas Tuchel and I I accept his behavior I accept that a coach stressed by by the, the pressure of performances after you're winning 4-0 in the Classic year, after you're winning 4-0 at Dortmund, you're allowed to, to have that kind of behavior. Again, I going back to Ateta, I going back to Tuchel, that is what football is doing to us. And this is sportainment. This is sport, this is entertainment, and we have to accept that. And we have to accept that. Is this good for Thomas Tuchel? That is another question, because we know that Bayern, and they are friends with each other, they talk to each other, and they... They are going to the same parties. So Thomas Tuchel better win some games in a row, no? Or he will be having problem. That's what the history tells us about Bayern München coaches. So let's stick to that question about Thomas Tuchel then. Didn't handle that in the way you thought he should have, Stevie. Because it was quite a pointed question to start yeah, with. He's just won 4-0. Listen, I've, I've said it a thousand times on here and I'll say it again. When you're doing an interview as a head coach, particularly of Bayern Munich... You don't, answer it. you don't answer any questions unless it's for you. You tell them what you want them to know. I mean, he, he should have completely dodged that question about what happened in midweek. All he should have done was start going on about how great Kane was, mm. how great his goals were, how great the midfield players, Moussi Alab is fantastic, they're running, running into defenders. So you don't answer the question. Is it easier said than done, though, when he no, stood on a panel where they've been slated yes. all season? Thomas Tuchel, how... Is this Thomas Tuchel's first gig? No. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Thomas Tuchel yeah. should know by now. You don't answer the question. Yeah, but it's Just don't answer the question. And the other, th the other thing we shouldn't forget, mm. I actually disagree with Jan here because I don't think there's that many of us that take ourselves so seriously. I think we forget that when you're on the other side, when people are criticising you, 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 you feel it more than anything. You do feel it. Anybody who says... I don't care, doesn't matter, is, is not, tell, not being honest. Because when you're in yeah. Tuchel's shoes, you absolutely feel every bit of it. And, and, so and, so in, in a small way, I understand why, why he wants to have a go at Matthias. But that's not the place to do it. The place to do it is out with the stadium when Matthias is not waiting for it, and then you pull, you pull him up. But as far as doing an yeah. interview, you answer, you answer but, with what you want them to know. You don't answer their question ever, but, but, unless it's in so, your favour. So, Sorry, Al. Uh, sorry, Al. I'm not taking your. But I just want to com comment on what Steve is saying because this is something to also to do with the culture of German football. You know, in England, we are used to talk to one man at a club. That is the manager. That is a, a weak system because sometimes Ten Hag got to talk about everything else than football. For example, uh, Pep Guardiola is the only one from from the club who is there. In Germany, it's ten to fifteen people. German football. I'm not saying it's a soap opera, but it's as close as we get. 
Bayern will have 10, 15 people who are doing politics. We've discussed that so many times when I had a go at Oliver Kahn or Salah Hamisic or Dresden or Heiner or Beckenbauer or Hoeneß or Rummenigge. There are people all over the place. And that's why I'm not saying that Tuchel did a, did a 100% right thing. But sometimes I think where we disagree, Stevie, is that you speaking like a college teacher or tell your pupil, that is what you're going to do. But when you're there, and you know that, Steve, you've been in that position so many times, that is the way you get it out. Because you know, that I work, I've been working with that host for three years. He is one of the best in Germany. And he, and, and, and he felt that I can have a go here because he will let me. Lotta Mateus is standing there. And you, as a human being, this is the only chance you have after winning 4-0 at Dortmund. You feel this is never a chance. Was he right? Not 100% sure. I'm sure that, that maybe you should be calmer, as you're saying, and do as a lot of managers just saying when people don't expect it. But again, I'm, I'm a defender of emotional people today, I, 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 I yeah, realize. No. 